talk about the first thing that we need to do when ordering our Pintech USA drum, um, acoustic drum to MIDI drum conversion. The first thing we want to cover, obviously, is the size of the shell. So, um, this is a 12 inch shell. Um, we're going to send all of uh, the, 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 the sizes of all the drums that we'll be converting uh, to Pintech. Also, we want to take a measurement from this vent hole to the nearest lug where we're going to mount our bridge. Now this is the lug that we've decided on to mount the bridge um, and I've marked it here with a sharpie. Uh, you don't have to mark it with a sharpie, you can mark it with a pencil um, or, or whatever. Um, I needed it to stay here for video purposes and it's for it to be bright for video purposes. So I marked it with a sharpie um, and so we take a measurement from here to here and what we have is four inches, okay, or three inches straight across. Um, I sent the four inch number. Now keep in mind, Pintech will will give you an extra inch as well, so you're you're even you know you're not going to be tight here. Um, they will kind of over exaggerate just a little bit, so you've got some work, you've got some room to play with on the measurement. Um, and when it comes to cable management, that's something that's very, very important. Um, so you can route your cables properly uh, within the drum, um, and we will also talk about taping um, all of that down to keep it nice and neat, um, and as, as well as keeping uh, connection points from being crimped. Okay, parts. Okay, I want to talk about parts. What we what what we get shipped with our MIDI conversion um, is a few things. Uh, we have two of the foam trigger trigger pads, um, and you'll notice that one side is dark and one side is a light gray with the blue dots on both. Okay, the blue dots um, are sticky. And um, that's what this side is going to, the gray side is up. So this gray side is what you want touching your drum head. Um, and this is what's going to actually be mounted on top of the piezo. Okay. To, to, to remove the blue backing on the sticky, I recommend using a razor blade. Your fingernails just aren't going to be enough to, to flick that. So you just grab a razor blade and be very careful, obviously, with the razor blade. Um, you know, to, to, to just kind of, you know, flick it up a little bit and pull that off. It'll, it'll save you a bunch of frustration. Next, I want to talk about the quarter inch female connector. Now, in this case, we have, uh, this is a stereo. We're, we're doing a, uh, a dual trigger zone. So this is a stereo, uh, connection. And then we have the, the head and the rim uh, connections which both are marked and this will actually insert into our vent hole um, when all said and done. We, uh, Pintech also does a pigtail version um, where it mounts in the vent hole and then you have lines coming, them, coming out uh, a two channel line uh, as well. Now You'll notice that we have four triggers, two head triggers and two rim triggers. Now, Pintech sends all four triggers, basically giving, giving us a spare trigger for each of the rim as well as the head. If something goes wrong in the uh, install process, um, we have another trigger um, for both rim and head. Um, if if, if one is damaged later on down the road, we also already have one. They, they give us a spare. Um, so that's very nice. Next what we have is the bridge. Now I've taken this bridge apart um, for the video. But this bridge comes, to get, comes screwed together like this. It'll actually have a piece of tape 
on the trick on the bridge noting which drum it goes to with a bunch of electrical tape along with that small sticky note on top of that so the electrical tape I've set aside and that's what we'll be using to do our cable management um, and then of course this one's for the 12 inch Tom um, so this is how I know that this goes for this drum okay you'll also notice the blue dots uh, the blue dots are the sticky um, and Pintex sends uh, uh, extra of those as well if you want to line uh, more uh, and why the tape is on the bridge is it, it when you stick these two together um, it provides a, 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 a piece of rubber uh, sticky rubber between the two pieces of metal which cut down on all the vibrations now you th there's more tape there's more dots that you can apply to even secure it even more in this case we're not going to need to because they are spread out far enough apart to where there's not there's not enough touching for it to concern us um, but that's that's completely up to you as the end user if you want to add more tape or not there's already going to be tape on them when they come um, and if you would like to add more um, they do come as dots so you'll cut them down the center and 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 split them like that um, but we'll talk about that bridge in a little bit you'll also notice that the back of the the triggers also have a little little foam uh, sticky as well that has a backing that will peel off um, that will that will mount to the heads now uh, mount to the to the rim and our our bridge keep in mind and I'll probably mention this a few times when you do install these triggers you never need to push down on the triggers themselves you just kind of you place them and go um, the sticky is very adhesive um, it, it, it sticks great so you just set it in place and it's pretty much done um, as far as the head trigger goes when you mount your foam pad to the top you'll it'll you know obviously you're going to give it a little push so that'll secure it even at that much more you never ever have to push down on any of your triggers to mount them into place also with the kit of course comes two heads top and bottom um, for the for the acoustic and midi conversion these are very quiet very durable um, uh, they you know as far as acoustics go um, they are going to silence your drums um, somebody in the next room will be able to do whatever they wish watch TV uh, whatever and never know that you're actually you know playing your favorite whatever um, very very quiet very very acoustically pleasing um, and you know you still can tune a little bit to the actual toms um, so if you didn't want to plug in and you just wanted to practice, you know, like a practice pad type setup, you're still going to get a small amount of acoustics. And I mean very, very small uh, amount of acoustics to, to kind of um, just tap along with and get your chops down, all your rudiments um, and things like that. Great heads, um, very durable um, and very acoustically quiet, which is when one of the things that when we're doing an acoustic media conversion, one of the one of the priorities that we're that we're looking at is to kind of quiet this thing down a little bit and um, and uh, just keep the, the the rehearsal space or the um, the actual venue where we're playing um, just keep the volume at a, at, a, at a decent level. Great heads um, can't say enough about the about the heads themselves. So that's it, um, product-wise, um, and now let's install.